big day today at the bike shop. We actually have something that's been in the works for a really long time that's coming together today. BK has been building this bike for over a year now. He's been gathering parts up and like the bike is finally finished. And I know like you're like, oh yeah, you just finally got all the parts. No, of course it's not. BK went over the top. He got all of his dream parts, you know, that he's accumulated over the past year. But now he sent it over to Titanium Finishing. And what they end up doing is this magical process of like coloring titanium. I don't want to call it painting because I know that's the wrong way, but they're coming to drop the bike off today. And I'm just so excited to see how this thing turned out because it's going to be crazy. But it's also BK's birthday. So we got him a car, we got him candy, we got him a balloon, and it's just going to be an awesome day for BK. I'm just so excited to see his face when he gets to see all of his parts put together. Wow, dude, they got you get what, what, Dude, check this out, man. What a day for you, huh? Now, here's the thing. What's the thing? You might have bought this all for me, but you're eating it all. I, I will eat, I'll <laughs> eat a few. I'll definitely eat a, see a couple of these. And, and I'll, I'll those are the best mind, ones. Right? Those, those are the best ones. You really like the word yes. cubes the best? Yes. Those are, yeah. I eat these. <laughs> this is chocolates that everyone's been picking out for the last couple of days, but they, they've been here <laughs> since the start. And, 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 and these and are cookies. And he's been here for about two and a half weeks. <laughs> no, yeah. no, no, it's not the same ones. You knew it was coming up. <laughs> I can't yes. believe you didn't notice. Dude, where did, who cut your seat post off? Oh, <laughs> You want to return it? This is, you gotta send this back. Nothing this is a safe. defect. This Nothing is looks safe. This can't be rideable. So, is carbon. This carbon wheel. Yep. BK's uh, committing to the carbon wheel. He didn't want to do it at first. Hey, I got him for a good price. Okay, but. You, Alienation gave him to me. <laughs> good for you. I paid full price for mine. Um, so, BK was nervous about using these because of the brake situation on there, because they, you're supposed to use a specific brake pad on that carbon wheel. Yep. Um, BK, he uses a specific brake pad himself. It's but called, they, they told me that it was A OK, so. But now he's another year older and another year smarter, mm -hmm. so he went for it. Mm hmm. And front one? Oh, front one looks good. So are we waiting for something to come yes. right now before you put yes. it together? Okay. We're waiting for the main components. You got some tire are these ultra light tires? Yep, my KGs. Wow. Are they, they used are. yet or no? No. Wow. I've never There's seen new parts. Two Bolitos. These are tubes, guys, believe it or not. Oh you see that? My super light. Holy crank. <laughs> what? I think the? that's what you meant to say. <laughs> Check these out. The RNC titanium cranks. These things yeah. are hollow in every which way. Uh, that Dude, one's a, a two-piece version heck? of it, so you can see the crank arms attached to it already. My nipples. No bolt. Wait, where? Whoa, 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 this is a PG. No. Put your shirt back oh, on the oh, okay. You've been building this thing for, I'm going to say, over a year now? Yes. About? Yeah. Um, so today's the big day. Yes. Is, is it actually going to be built today? Like, do you uh, have everything every, Everything it? but my brakes. So it can be rideable. We need your brakes. I couldn't get my gyro tab, or gyro plate in time. Oh, so you you, you yeah. don't have a gyro plate? Yeah. We're waiting on a gyro <laughs> yes. plate. Uh, I knew it wasn't gonna be ready. Okay. No, it's luckily, rideable. Luckily, we are at a bike ready. shop, and we can no, probably for, figure out a gyro plate. No, <laughs> like, we can probably get that situated. I need a specific one for oh, my of course and everything. Does. Yeah, we knew that. <laughs> for specs. What do you keep in there? This is all the remaining parts. <gasps> what do you mean remaining? Is that the rest parts? of your seat? Oh, so dang it. front bolt and bearings and stuff mm -hmm. for the front hub. My carbon centerpiece for my crank. Nice. Front spindle. Carbon headset spacers, mm -hmm. headset, bottom bracket. The gold of all gold. What is this? The Odyssey hollow like pin keyring chain Ooh. that no one can get. <laughs> What's up? <gasps> oh, yes. the box is here, guys. The box right. is right. here. The package has arrived. Oh, what a big day. Yo! He's got it. Thanks, How are you? How are thanks you? for coming, guys. Yeah, really appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for having us. We're like, yeah. it's surreal being here, actually. Oh, yeah. This is awesome. BK right now, he's got his box full of his goodies, and I'm so excited to check him out. But before we completely show everybody what's going on, actually, pull that one out. Let's, let's just pull that one out for now. This is a driver, guys, and you can say it's not a normal driver. So why don't you guys hold this real quick and explain sure. it. Let's just talk about what you guys do. How about that? So we anodize titanium. We also apply Cerakote. This whole project was anodized titanium. Brooklyn wanted to match his profile items, <laughs> <laughs> which he has over wow. there. Um, this is like a five step process. This isn't how we traditionally anodize titanium. It's a little bit different. But why is it different than how you would normally do Most titanium? of the work that we do is production work for medical implants. He's got them in his body from when he broke his collarbone. <laughs> nice. Um, so, so you do, what do you do to the, the implants exactly? It's just a whole big batch of everything is the exact same color. So if to repeat it, match so it, it's a, match so it, it, match it. So it is, it's this colored. Is when we basically, get to, so yeah. when you're in the operating room, 
they know that that green screw is five millimeters and the gold one is four oh. millimeters. It's all virtual. So it makes it easier when they're much. in there during the process of the procedure. Yeah. They're not getting out their micrometer oh. going, oh, wait, is that a four mil or a five mil? I thought the doctors were just being fancy with colors. And <laughs> no, 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 no. All my bolts to be blue. No, no, it's just no, so they I can tell the them apart mine. really quickly. Oh, yeah, and then what kind of coating gets done on medical part? Uh, they part. also get the titanium yeah. anodized. This is just more of like our custom creative fun stuff. Mm. So it kind of breaks up the monotony of all of the production, production, production. Yeah. Do hundreds of thousands of parts every week. Um, this is so crazy. Is Big unveiling right now, guys. I think you got a good idea of what's what it's gonna look like, but <laughs> Whoa, what in the look at, world? Look at the smile on that face right there. What in the world? What that is, is going on? Amazing. And then splatters to the end. That is the coolest thing in the world. Really? It really is. On the bottom bottom bracket has a surprise. There might be something hidden on the bottom. BK. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yep. That is yeah. so right. sick. I have so many questions, man. Can, can we borrow that frame? Absolutely. All right, let me see this yeah, frame. frame. It's going to be right. fine. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. So There's can you hold this frame and we can talk about this? Sure. I'll steal that yeah. from you. Take that. Let's talk about how this frame turned out looking this way. <laughs> 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 I, I, I don't even know where to start. And I'm, so first the frame I'm gets so cleaned. It gets all the grease taken out of it from the way it was made. Um, then we do some prep on it just to make sure the surface finish is super clean and even. And then this is basically four steps of different anodized colors applied on here. So let, I think that's a big thing is like, let's talk about the anodizing okay. itself. Like uh, step number one, what would be step number one technically? Step number one for anodizing is the prep process, which is cleaning okay. and getting all the surfaces to be even and mm -hmm. the same so the colors look vibrant. Um, step two is we apply electricity to this frame. And how do you apply electricity to the frame? We just clip the frame to electricity okay. that's um, hooked up to our rectifier. Um, most of our process is pretty proprietary, so I'll tell you the very <laughs> minimal that I can yeah. tell you. Yeah, we're, the, please We're do. a federally protected trade secret, so there's not a whole lot I can say about it. Okay. Um, but then we have a solution. <laughs> Makes sense. So much cooler. Yeah. <laughs> so much cooler. Right. Right. I love it that much more. <laughs> Um, so we apply electricity to the frame and then the electricity is also attached to our rectifier, which creates different voltages. Um, and the different voltages will change what color the titanium naturally turns. So there's no dyes used with this. This is all natural. That's yeah. That's so, the craziest thing yeah. I've ever heard. So is it considered a chemical process? It is. Yeah. We have a hey, special. We were talking about this. Yep. We were trying to figure it out. <laughs> yeah. We have a special bath, um, and the bath is created to, um, bring out the colors naturally, basically. So it's a chemical reaction. We're not adding or removing anything. All of these colors naturally exist on titanium. You just have to change the way the light refracts off of it. So that's what we're doing. What? So these colors are all actually white, um, but the way the light refracts off of it, once we apply the voltage and the bath to it, makes you see these colors, they're not real. Wow. Okay. Yeah, so that's white. What? There's nothing on there. Yeah, There's nothing on there. White. We put nothing on we there. We did nothing. That's just a natural form we of titanium. We did something of nothing. And we're manipulating the oxide yep. layer. That's so. it. The oxide layer. That's all that we're yep. doing. So that's part of the chemical yep. reaction. That's yep. what we were looking for. We were trying to think of what's going on in that chemical yeah, reaction. Yeah. The oxide layer. And we were having conversations really cool about this. A lot of people can do not necessarily this crazy, but things like this in their own garage. You can use Coca-Cola. To anodize titanium, what? if you no, have. No, Maggie, right. we are not doing. That. Okay, we got a new project on <laughs> no, our hands. Maggie, like, we are not doing that. Tell us more. Wow. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, our process is a little more refined than Coca Cola, can, but people can, do it all the time. Let's just talk about the Coca Cola thing real quick. Do, do you have to? What do you have to like do with the Coca Cola? Brand Coca -Cola? Yeah, like, is there, is there, you can literally look up videos. There's tons of videos of people doing it online. They attach like a battery. So you have to charge it yep. and then okay. apply Coca-Cola. Wow. We're, yep. we're really? finishing the rest I was of the frame. Thinking, yeah. We have so much open area on this frame. But, but Eddie right did so it. much stenciling it work. It took me like three hours to stencil that. Yeah. Yeah. Do that. Like, yeah, so <laughs> Eddie, I promise, you it's, not, I promise okay. you it's not So like, is there? Yeah. <laughs> so here's a question. These are all stencils. No, no, no. None of none of this is stencils. None is that a stencil. All the ending, how it comes into there. Okay. Those are all, I probably say, 100. The 200 stencils were put on there yep. to create that effect. That so it's like, like it what you put like the negative, like vinyl. Well, no, it was a pinal. So it was a pinal. Yeah, pinal. It's pinal. <laughs> it was a positive, <laughs> positive stencil, and then you remove the rest of the anode. Yeah. So basically, before this part became raw, we did this to the whole frame. Then he put stencils on where we were going to keep it to make that drip pattern, and we removed the rest of it. Oh, so it's a removal yep, process. Yeah, it's a removal. 
Yep. Whoa. Wow. That's yep. another thing we were talking about because I was like, I don't think you can remove it. Yeah. Brooke was like, they told me you could remove it. And I'm yep, you can. <laughs> that's yep. what so, in the world. Okay, now where's the paw print? Right there on the back of the stay. Oh, oh, that's that's awesome. yep, that's oh, that's cool. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. Yep. Could we both got a little pit bull, so. Yep. so yeah. So a quick question here. Yes. Is there a certain color that's applied first out of all this? Like yep. The, so as you go, all of the colors appear as you add more voltage. So the lowest color here that you see is the blue, followed mm -hmm. by the gold, and then the fuchsia. So the fuchsia is the highest voltage. So each voltage creates a different color. So is there a color that's applied first? Like like when, while you're doing the process, does one you're like, oh, that's the blue spot before you finish the fuchsia and Yep, the gold? I did. First I did all the blue, <laughs> then I did all the gold, then I did all the fuchsia. It's just so cool. The coolest thing I've ever heard. That's the prettiest fork I've ever seen yeah. in my life. I can't believe today is the day where this bike that we've heard so much about for, <laughs> say, over a year now is finally getting built up. DK's like, so excited. Like He's throwing stuff around. This is it hard to figure out what to put on next because you have so no. many parts in front of you? So this is going to be awesome with full encouragement and guidance of titanium finishing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you understand what's Sunday. going on. <laughs> Let Natty tell you right now. It's ridiculous. I just want you guys to know that this has nothing to do <laughs> with titanium finishing, okay? This is something we found on YouTube, and we're going to see if it works. We've been talking about this for about a week, by the way. Literally a week going into this, we're, I'm like, Brooklyn. You should do some titanium anodizing on your own stuff. And he's like, no, I can't. And I'm like, I'm going to get you the machine to do it. Luckily, I didn't get him the machine to do it, but our head engineer got us the machine to do it. We don't even know what this machine is. Yeah, let's explain what's going on here. Right what, what here. Is this thing? We have the Walter Sir Fox 101. What, what is, uh, head engineer, what does this machine do? It takes the brown out of stainless steel when you weld it. That's, Just, there's a really machine that does that. <laughs> it's, it's for lazy people. And you got it. Wow. He's like, instead of using it. scotch, oh, right? Somebody had it. Okay. So, so our head engineer brings it in, and all I know is the red one's got to be hooked up to your titanium, okay. which we have some very dirty titanium that we did not clean properly. Yeah. And then what they say is there's something inside of Coke, probably just the sugar and other additives and high fructose corn syrup, that we're gonna soak this cushion on the front of this. You can clean it. And for can some you reason, clean it with alcohol. Yeah, can you clean it with alcohol? it's good to clean with alcohol. Yeah. Oh, so we're gonna soak this little cushion with coke, and apparently there should be some sort of reaction on the titanium that we're gonna titanium wow. anodize this. Uh, we just learned on YouTube there was multiple people, multiple videos. We're not gonna say any names, just yeah. in case things go horribly wrong. <laughs> but uh, this is something we've been wanting to try for a while. So we are not professionals, and we're not cut out to be doing this, but we're gonna do it. Don't this try is, this at home. This seriously. is ridiculous. And if you have a Surf OX 101. Please don't do this. Seriously. I can't believe right. this is happening right now. Let me clean my what surface. Happens? Yeah, good. Clean your surface. Authentic. Yep. Is it good? Yeah, okay. Did you taste it? Oh, yeah. You should just read it. It just says original taste there. Yeah, it's definitely the original taste. Okay. That's for sure. Okay. <laughs> I, I've never used this. Is there like a button? Oh, it's a button. On and off. Oh, I love on and off. Yeah. That's the easiest way to do it. Mm. Well, it's uh, well, it's putting out the acid. There's acid? Well, in this tank, there's acid. Why is there acid coming out of it? I don't actually that's know. how you, uh... Oh, it's doing something! Oh, yeah. it's doing something! We got some! Yeah, I don't know what this knob, knob does. If I have to guess, it's how fast the pump goes, but yeah. I don't really know. All right, we'll just hold it there for a second. You've, uh, what's the nickel here? The nickel for anodizing is Yeah, you're, the button pumps the juice It didn't out. change all, all that much, to be then. fair. That's pretty sick though, huh? Well, Look, it is. Just, you just wipe it. But we didn't do the coke yet. Check it you out. You guys remember it was a boring titanium part? It's boring titanium. Now it's wow. blue titanium. We and call it blitanium. Blue, <laughs> blue, blue titanium. Spin it around. Let me see what the rest of it looks like. Oh, that's a little. It's very consistent. I could see. It's, you know, it's got. It's really. You can see. Though. I will say the Coca Cola. It's probably hard to see, but it did give us like this one little bit of like a dark area. Dark area. It's okay. almost got like a brown hint to it, which is yeah. kind of weird. But it is shocking but to that's see that pretty cool. what you just yeah. did with, with that material is nuts. Yeah, this is something I invented a long time ago. <laughs> is, uh, <laughs> that's crazy though. This is fun. And now we can finish any other piece of titanium in the shop. Yeah, that's, that's nuts. Color. And it'll be consistent blue every yeah. single time. It's wild, man. So if you guys want blue done, <laughs> no, we're not, just dude. message me. I'll do it at any point. No liability. No, no guys. Actually, I'm going to show you another oh option. You guys can get it done the right way. If you guys go to Titanium Finishing and contact <laughs> them, and you can get it done proper. And the this bike left. looks no. amazing. <laughs>
I mean, what's it like for you seeing this thing completed now? Oh, it's, it's also it's uh, gotta I mean, be cool, right? Seeing it at the shop and then actually seeing it built up, and then uh, hopefully we can catch a hop whip on it today. <laughs> oh! oh! She told me to bring pads in. Oh, not the pad thing again. <laughs> not the pad <laughs> thing again. So we're doing the big unveiling of VK's weight on his new bike. 15 pounds and 10 ounces. So I know there's no brakes on it yet, so that's definitely gonna add a little bit of weight to it, but man, that's kind of crazy. That's insane. Are you like thrilled about this or yeah. what? Is today the best day ever? Is this the best birthday you've ever had? So far. <laughs> I mean, I still have, hopefully I got many more to go. <laughs> <laughs> this bike looks absolutely amazing. BK is like the proudest guy ever right now. When are you gonna have it complete now? When are you gonna be riding this for the first uh, time? Probably Wednesday or Thursday. Yeah, Wednesday or Thursday. Amazing. So, And it couldn't have been done this way if it wasn't for these two right here. Uh, so you guys did an amazing, amazing job. Thank so, you. So let's talk about what you guys do and how potentially you can help other people uh, get cool bikes like that. So, um, If you want to get something done similar to Brooklyn's or totally different than Brooklyn's, if you have a tie frame, we can anodize it or we can Cerakote it. If you ride steel or aluminum, we can Cerakote it. So, and Cerakote, let's just explain what that is real quick for people that don't fully we understand. Do oh, you, you, you're, you're a better explainer. It's going to be edited. <laughs> you talk. Like, I'm just going to be Cerakote cool. is a thin film <laughs> ceramic based paint. Um, it can be super customized with stencils. Um, it's plied super thin. It's super lightweight. It's great for bikes. Super durable. Mm. You can look at our Instagram yeah. and See, and you're, see you're what the, we can do. And you're this the certified is the guy Cerakote guy. Yeah, so, I'm certified. Thank you, so, Scott. I appreciate so that. So people could <laughs> people could really do some cool stuff if they yeah, want basically to, Basically, the right? sky's the limit, basically. We can wow. take your designs and make it come true in Cerakote and uh, most custom bike you can ever have. That would be awesome. Right. So if you guys are interested, make sure you guys go check out Titanium Finishing. You can go on their Instagram where they have a bunch of stuff. You can also go on the website, contact, and uh, you pretty much if somebody's going to reach out to you, you guys give them a quote. Is that how it works? Yep, we'll give you a quote. You can either email us or you can message us on Instagram and I can direct you to my email. So, awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you guys for this. This is so cool and I'm so Thanks excited to get my us. bike done. <laughs> So we're wrapping this one up. I hope you guys enjoyed this bike build, uh, even though it's not completely done yet. In the next few days, BK will have this thing ready to ride and we'll get his first tail up ever on it. But happy birthday to BK. You guys should go wish him happy birthday on his Instagram at BK1YN underscore. If you guys didn't know or not, BK's Instagram got hacked. So that's his new one. So make sure you guys go follow him right now and you'll see updates and pictures of this one. So guys, we will see you in the next video. Peace.